what old John Hancock here, and today I have something pretty special to share. I'm a huge fan of homebrew video games on classic consoles. And uh, I haven't talked a lot about the Vetrex on my channel, and I'm a huge Vetrex fan. And so there's a, a website which uh, was around a long time ago, and, and it seems like it's restarted itself. And it is now offering Vetrex homebrews uh, from classic programmers such as John Donzilla and he made some awesome Vetrex uh, games back in the day on his own website but now has handed the baton off to Packrat Video Games uh, and Packrat Video Games carries Atari 2600 homebrews, Odyssey 2 homebrews and what I'm going to talk about today is part one of Vetrex homebrews you can get all on the site and are all available and so what's cool is these these homebrew games are not made for the collector they're made really for the person that wants to play games on their Vetrex console and today I'm going to show as much as I can uh, gameplay footage of a Vetrex if you've never seen one before you get to see one today and uh, in action playing all these uh, all these games and what's cool about these games is that they have multiple games on them and, and then some hidden some hidden games as well so let's check it out together so this is a 16k game that's offered on pack rat site and this is uh, one of John Donzilla's uh, first uh, multi carts released in 1996 and now pack rat video games is offering it and this is All Good Things. And All Good Things is a compilation of uh, multiple games. And I'm going to check it out with you. It comes with a nice sturdy case. Pretty sweet. Has a lot of the uh, information about the game on the back. Very cool. Alright, here's All Good Things. And we'll go ahead and play Rockeroids, which is pretty much an Asteroids uh, knockoff and press one button to play and each button on the Vetrex does a different function so button four thrust and then you have to um, press button one and two to um, to rotate so two to rotate one way uh, button one to rotate the other so it, it plays a lot like asteroids but it can be very very challenging so I just, I'm, you know, used to playing on the Atari 2600, so having four buttons to control things makes things really challenging. <laughs> All right. All right, next up, by pressing four, uh, you can cycle through the different games. So we'll go ahead and do more invaders. Um, I like to ask, I like the... The Asteroids clone better than this, more Invaders, but I know that he made uh, more than one version of this. So this is his first version of more Invaders. And so, uh, anyways, you use uh, button two and three to uh, go back and uh, to move back and forth. And you press button four to fire. And it's it takes a little bit to get used to. Because, you know, I'm used to, I'm used to playing with less buttons. And it's, <laughs> it can mess with you. Yeah, so there you go. That's that's more invaders. Let's see if I can. Oh, totally died. All right. Moves a little bit slow, and you can't destroy your base thing. That's a little annoying. Oh, all right. Is Vetrex, and Vetrex is again is another game on the All Good Things All Good Things cart, and uh, it's uh, it's Tetris, and uh, this one plays really good. Um, it's fast. It's really fast. You know, you, if you're used to playing the original Nintendo one, uh, this one is super fast. Anyways, uh, probably the three, uh, the, the first three games on this uh, cartridge, this is my favorite. So if you're a Tetris fan, uh, 
it's Tetris and it plays awesome. And I'm just happy my Vetrex works. <laughs> it's nice to get it out of storage and uh, play it. Oh yeah. Next up is Spike's Water Balloons and it's essentially a Kaboom knockoff. And uh, this is the first version of it. Again, this all these games are part of the All Good thing, Things cart. So shows some gameplay. Oh, totally died. Really cool animation though. Could do it again. Okay. I want to show you the hidden game and all good things. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Uh, you hold button two and you press four repeatedly repeatedly and you get 23 matches a little puzzle game I do believe it came uh, was on the trash 80 um, pretty cool whoever takes the last match loses it's you against the Vetrex so take one two or three matches per turn Simple little game, but I wanted to show that. It's kind of neat. Right. This is another game that you can order on Packrat's uh, video game site. And this is a Vetrex conversion of Qbert. And again, it uh, has a Vetrex style. It's a lot, of, a lot of fun. It has some digitized speech. A lot of fun. This is what the cartridge looks like inside with the foam piece. And uh, let's check it out. My son is a huge Cuber fan, and he wanted to play it. You want to say everybody hey, hello to everybody? Hello. Okay. He's very excited. So this is Spike Hoppin. It plays a lot like Cubert. It's got a really cool, like, digitized voice, and it's kind of hard. It is. And said, "Go for it." So. Not to lie, we practiced before this. <laughs> we tried. And it, it's just a little slow. It's one thing that uh, you have to have precise control. Good, good job, son. My son get, loves get Hubert. Macaroni butt out of here. What do you say? Macaroni butt out of here. <laughs> uh, he's in third grade. Uh, okay. Oh, now you have to wait. Not the most easiest game. No, it's not the easiest game. You have to essentially, you know press diagonal to control spike. Hey, move. Yeah, it has to be exact. You can do it. Nice. No, you're much harder to play than co be than coily. <laughs> and there you go. Alright. Spike Coffins bonus game. Pretty sweet. You hold button one and button three on the controller. Oh, you pro will hold one and three and then press four, and you get a bonus game. It is essentially Centipede. So cool that this is a hidden game. Uh, I wanted to show all the hidden games of the of the games I got, and uh, you know it's 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 kind of simple. What you may not be able to see on the screen is there are. Uh, Instead of mushrooms, there are little vector lines for the mushrooms that block your shots. Uh, you know, nice a nice simple game. So it's 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 centipede. It's vectorpede. <laughs>
What for a for a hidden game? I mean that's cool. And there you have it. This is Vecmania. This is another multi cart. Uh, again, these are all super cheap. Uh, these are made for people that want to play the games, not to resell them. Uh, these were these were originally made for people to play on their Vectrex uh, systems. And what's really cool, so Vec Vecmania is it's a first 64k cart released back in 1998. And again, uh, these were made by John Zins Donzilla on Classic Game Creation site, which is no longer around, um, selling these. And so it has multiple games, uh, some demos and some games, and I'd like to show you some of the, some of the games that are on it. This is Vecmania, and it's an awesome game, uh, compilation of multiple uh, games, and this is the first 64K cart for the, for the Vetrex. And uh, you can select the games by moving uh, the controller uh, stick over, and you can uh, choose whatever you want to do. Um, we'll go ahead and start with Starfire, and you press up on the stick to start it. Does it look uh, familiar to a familiar franchise? <laughs> and it essentially is uh, <clears throat> a simple version of Star Wars Arcade. And uh, you can choose the speed. Button one fires. It's fast. But anyways, it's pretty simple. Simple controls. Again, uh, really cool. This uh, this this uh, Vec Mania has got several several full games on it. And uh, this so this is kind of a their take on Star Wars Arcade. There you have that. All right, Repulse, another game. Um, this uh, this is a hard game, and so uh, I'll I'll play the best I can. I'm not that good at it. So essentially, the premise is you're a little tiny ship, and you have to destroy a mother ship, and the ship's constantly moving. You can't you can't hurt. Oh shoot. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. So you have to strike inside the mother ship while avoiding the other ship that's firing at you. It's pretty cool, just really hard. So Oh. So that's that. That's a that's a quick version of this game cuz uh, I'm pretty terrible at it and I'm going to need a lot more play to get better at it. This is Birds of Prey. And it's uh, pretty much Phoenix, and it's a good version of it. I recommend playing this game with a controller down, and you're on the on a hard surface. Um, and I do believe uh, you press uh, one and two to go left and right, and button four four is to fire. And three is shield. It is tough. Again, you know, I'm used to playing Atari games with one button. And so this just takes a little bit of coordination, which I don't have. <laughs> you think with all my video games, I would have better coordination with this. But, um, yeah, it just takes a little bit to get used to. So um, the, the best way to play it is to have one hand, I think, um, on buttons one and two. And another hand uh, hitting button three and four, and I'm, I'm just noticing this, and it's it's making the, the game a lot more fun to play, and it's just fun. I, I'm a big fan of Phoenix and uh, and Demon Attack, so this is this is this is excellent. There is five levels, I do believe, and uh, you know, a great version of it. I got I got to get past this level. Come on, yes. Very cool. Alright, this is Rockeroid's Remix Third Rock. And so this is the third version of of his version of Asteroids. Um, I like it. It it's a little bit uh, a little bit easier to play. Still hard to play. Um, <laughs> it's just one of those games. It's just uh, 
just takes a little bit of, of coordination. Oh, I'm totally going to die here. Oh yeah, you got the little ship. This is definitely one of my better better games I've played on it. Just not that not that coordinated. Oh, it's hard. Anyways, it's Asteroids. This is Vector Vader's The Director's Cut, which is like a better version of Vector Vader's. I didn't really like the first version of Vector Vader's. Again, but that was, you know, made a long time ago, and it, it this is just a better version of it. So, let's see here. Button 4 to play. So it's just much, it's much harder. But it's, 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 it's an e it's, it's a lot faster. And it just, it greatly improves upon the other version. So again, the best way to play this is to hold it, have the controller on the ground. Uh, and something, oh man, it's tough. Yeah, it's a cool effect. Yeah, this is, this is, this is a much better version. Jesus hard. Oh, that's cool. So the shields dim. It, it may not be hard, easy to see on the screen, but once they dim the way, all the way, they're gone. Yeah, I'm not doing too good. Ah! Won't want. Alright. This is Patriot Special Edition, which is essentially Missile Command. Awesome. Awesome version. Um, I, I like this quite a bit. Uh, again, a lot of these games are just arcade classics, so to have so many, um, so many ga uh, arcade games on one, on one cartridge is just, uh, Amazing. So here we go. So you can speed it up. You can pause game by button two. Anyways, it's fast. Got some cool effects. I don't know what you would call that effect of the ring, but it's it's just you know, so neat to be able to play my Vetrex and enjoy a game that was never released for it, yet someone took their time and, and, and essentially made this game uh, available to the public. Um, this game is now available for cheap. Cheap! I mean, if you really think about the time that goes into making something on cartridge, I mean, and this is one of many games on this multi on this cartridge, uh, which is this is on Vec Mania, um, and uh, just awesome. So this wasn't a complete version of the game. Um, again, this is called the Abyss, which uh, if if you see it, it's just a demo. Again, um, Tempest, very cool. This is just uh, kind of an example of uh, again what the what the Vetrex is capable of. Such a cool system, man. There's just some neat stuff, neat SIF stuff on the system. This is this dual demo, which is uh, I think just a just a demo again. It's not uh, not a complete game or anything. Just just to kind of show. What uh, what 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 the system was capable of? I don't even know if it's fully playable or not. But man, it's really cool to kind of show that you know the Vetrex could do like a Tron Deadly Disc type game. Very sweet. Again, all these are on Vec Mania, including a hidden ga a hidden game, which uh, I'll be able to show. This is a hidden game in Vec Mania, and you have to score 150 points exactly. And then it unlocks a breakout clone, and this is it. So, uh, 
Pretty sweet. It's a hidden game. You score 150 points in Patriots, which is a Missile Command clone. What? And this is the hidden game. Very sweet. <laughs> it's just amazing what the, this Vetrex system could do. And you know, these are just a lot of the arcade classics that were never on the system. This this one gentleman has programmed all these games and what's cool is you know his his website's uh, availability for these games long gone I mean he he offered these for years and um, Packrat video games has taken it on and uh, there you have it Vectopia is uh, John Donzilla's second 64k cart and it's got two main games on it, uh, Wormhole and Trackers, and uh, it's pretty sweet. And it's got a uh, analog version of Spice Water Balloons on it, so it's really cool. It's got a like a deluxe version of that. And uh, over here, that's what the cartridge looks like. Very cool. Let's check out some of the gameplay. Next up is Wormhole. Love the music. It's cool. All right. That's neat. All right. Let's do this. As you can tell, Wormhole is Gyrus. Awesome version too. Awesome. A lot of fun to play. I could play this for quite a bit. But anyway, uh, just as well done. Controls good. And there's Wormhole. Up next is Trackers, which is an arcade version of Targ. There's some other stuff here, but these are the two main games I'm going to show. So I just, uh, this is one of the really cool, um, just seems like John really worked on the music and was able to uh, make some great music and uh, gameplay enhancements to some of his later carts. And this is, you could tell this by, by playing this. So. Ah, not too good at this game. <clears throat> All right, let's do this again. Hard game. Use the analog guide uh, joystick to. Uh, got lucky there. Oh, not too good. Good version of this, though. I have to play it more when I have some more time. This is this is pretty much Indy 500 on the Vetrex, and this is just a demo. Um, it is not complete. Uh, again, it's just to show what was capable. It's it's just a, like an early demo of what could have could have been. And again, uh, pretty sweet. Just wanted to show that. This is the last game that John John Donzilla made, and this is Space Frenzy, and this is a pretty awesome version of the arcade classic. Released in, I do believe, uh, 2006, and it does have some speech. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome version of the game. And again, 
so glad that uh, Pack Rat Video Games is the authorized distributor of these and uh, makes them at cost. Um, and I just, it's for the fans, and I totally recommend. I mean, if you have a Vetrex, check out his site. All right, this is Space Frenzy. This was the last game that John made, and um, it, had, it had some crazy awesome features. It used the uh, advantage of using the Atari Vox Plus, and that is available at, um, at Atari Age. Uh, it, what it is is it's a device you can plug in and adds additional speech options. And there's some other Vetrex games that use it as well. This is one of them. Um, there is an option on this menu to play uh, something that adds a little bit of speech, even if you don't have the device. And that's what makes this version crazy. So I'm going to hit it. And let's see, three, uh, one. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Vetrex game that talks. So anyways, I'm going to die on purpose because it'll show the other, the other, um, the other voice. Oh, come on, I want to die. Okay, so once you die, it'll talk again. I'm, I'm just trying to show what it, what it... Okay. Trying to die on purpose here. It's a great shooter. It's a it's a very a very good rendition of the game. So then uh, if you go unranked, it will it will talk again. <laughs> so down here there's one demo added to this uh, game and it's a, it's Super Spike World demo and um it's uh, essentially just like a little platform. Very cool. Very cool. No way to die. Very cool though. I had to show you, always show you this. This is, you know, what could have been. Man, it plays really good too. I mean, I just can't believe, you know, what the what the system's capable of. It's just this came out. I mean, eighty two. I mean, <laughs> just amazing that, that this classic, this little, this kind of weird, kind of portable slash something different system was capable of so much. And uh, I don't know, I had a lot of fun doing this video and showcasing some of the really cool oddity stuff. You know, there's just, you know, this is something that not many people are going to be able to appreciate. So hopefully, you know, this video can just show you what this system's capable of. And the cool thing is, is all the games that I showcase on my, you know, on my on this video. That the problem is, is someone shows a cool homebrew game and it's not available. And so this is this just neat to see that, um, you know, games like this are. Are, are available for people who have a system that just want to play it and I just oh that's cool little homage to the Star Trek Enterprise there that's so neat very cool thanks for watching this there you go what do you think make you want to get a Vetrex it's kind of neat to see what uh, a system so long ago was capable of well anyways comment below what you thought what was your favorite um, check out Pack Rat Video Games they got some great products you know again um, I, I, I saw that they had these available, and I didn't get them from John directly a long time ago. And I was like, oh, I want to get these. And, you know, to get them all in one shot, uh, and, and, and the quality build on these things is awesome. And so, I mean, it's this is definitely for the gamer. Definitely check it out. If you have a Vetrex, this is a must-buy. Check out some, some of the other products. I am going to do another video. He has a ton more Vetrex stuff. On a site that he sells, and I was only able to—I wanted to showcase this in depth because, uh, you know, uh, there's so much there's so much to show, and so I had a lot of fun doing this video. I do two videos a week, one on Thursdays and one on Sundays. Uh, thank you to everybody taking time out of their day to watch the videos that I do. I also have a patron if you want to continue to support me that way, uh, and if you need to contact me, you can you can look me up on Facebook at the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much 
my hats off to everybody that uh, uh, is watching these videos. You take care now.